these people. We love it, love it, long time. No, not the doggy. Not the doggy. The brokers. Let's talk about the games the brokers play. So, a broker, here's his sole job to sell. A broker is a salesman. Okay? Now, hold on, let me let me give full disclosure right now. Do I think brokers are needed in this industry? Yes. Absolutely. We need brokers uh, until this technology catches up and wipes them out. But we need brokers. Brokers have their place in life. In the industry, not life, the industry. They have a place in life too. Um, they are needed. They have their place. And they're not all bad. They're not. But their sole purpose is to sell the customer on the high side. Right? So they want to upsell the customer. Up, 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 upsell the customer. And then, now they need to put on the other hat and then they need to downsell you. Well, as a salesman, I can tell you, upselling is easy. Downselling is hard. So, because I have to convince you why your thought that you deserve a thousand dollars is is not valid. It's not real. It doesn't happen. And you don't deserve it. That's what a broker's job is. Now, the problem is a lot of owner operators, truck drivers, employee minded business owners do not know their own worth. You don't know your own worth. So, the industry can live without a broker, right? Cannot live without a truck and a trailer and an owner operator that has the skills to pay the bills and drive these trucks. These trucks are not easy to drive. Whether it's a big truck, a hot shot, a box truck, whatever. It's not easy to sit in the seat 11 hours a day and focus only on driving. You know what I mean? Like, leave your family to the side, leave your wife to the side, like let it all go and just drive get that freight move as quick as possible. Like, that's our job. So, a broker's job, as I said, is to upsell them. So, and, and most of the time, that's the easy part for them. Do you know why? Because the customers don't know no better. The customers don't know that a dollar a mile is a good rate. They don't know that a dollar fifty a mile they're getting bamboozled. And do you know how many people get bamboozled? Come on, that's close, but come on. Cut me off just to uh, get to a closed weight station, I guess. Um, so it's easy to sell the customer and convince them that, you know, the rate's 1500 bucks, 1000 bucks, whatever it is. But, now they need to convince you, which should be harder, but unfortunately, in the desperation and the way we think about money and about ourselves is actually the easiest part of their job a lot of the times, unfortunately. Um, so now, let's talk about the games they play to make this happen. A broker will lie to you. Not all, but they'll lie to you. They'll act like your best friend and tell you whatever they think you want to hear. I had a broker earlier beg me to give them 20 minutes to send it over. 
It's been three hours. You think I got a load? No. I didn't wait for that load. I still have a spot. But I was looking for the load. I, just, I don't have a load, though. Right? So, they're going to say, oh, oh, I'm calling the customer. I'll call you back. They're not going to call you back. They're going to ask you to hold the spot. They're going to tell you it's yours. Until you have a rate con, that is not your load. A man, unfortunately, a man's word and bond ain't jack squat no more. Unless you really know this fella. Like, I, I know some people that their, their word is their bond, and if they told me they're going to do something, they're going to do it. No matter how it affects them, no matter what it does within the reason, they're going to do it. And if not, they're going to call you like the man they are or the woman they are, and they're going to say, Yo, I, I told you this, I can't do this. This is why. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to play this game. A, a broker does not care about you because they know what you... You know what they think? There's tens of thousands of truckers. I don't need this guy. And you know what I think? There's thousands of brokers. I don't need that guy. And a lot of times I don't. Now there's some of them I do need because I use a lot. But guess what? Those brokers are usually some of the best brokers. Now there's a couple megas that are hit and miss just because they hire employees. That's where the issue becomes. If you have an employee, your reputation is just, you know, you never know what it's going to be. Because people lie. People do whatever they got to do to get money. Like there's a brokerage out there right now that used to pay banging money. Banger money. There's a lot of them. But guess what? They don't do it no more. Because they see, oh, wait, these guys will take this for less. These guys are telling me to give them the load for a hundred less just not to give it to the other guy. I can keep this money. That's what they're doing. And it's working. If a broker says it's yours, it ain't yours until you got it right now. And even then sometimes, a lot of them get canceled. Brokers have no loyalty, no coup, don't care. And now, I'm not a broker basher. Anybody that knows me knows I do not bash brokers. But I had one the other day lie to me about everything about this car. I had to sit six hours on this car because they played the game. And they won. Unfortunately, they won. You know? Um, you know, I was, I was kind of uh, pushed to the sideline and I, I didn't I didn't get to fight that fight. And we lost. But ultimately, I'm the only one that lost. Um, but that is what it is. Now, they will do whatever they have to do for a dollar. Like, that's the name of the game. They don't care about you. They don't care that you're sitting there six hours, ain't made no money. They don't care that you're holding a spot on that trailer, and they don't have the, the kahunas to call you back and say it's not going to work. They don't care. They think you're still holding. And now, here's the biggest mistake newbies make. The biggest when they see a load and they talk to a broker and the broker says, I'll call you back, they start to head to the load. I know people that will drive to a load before it's booked. And then they get mad when they don't have the load. Look, I don't know what happened. I know what happened. You, you put your eggs into a basket that wasn't even yours. It's got a hole in the bottom. Y'all never sewed that together, never closed it up. Y'all never took care of business. You never even talked business. But yet you believe these people. Like, it, it, it's their job. Unfortunately, a broker's job is to be scuzzy, be scamming. Some are better than others, and some just won't. Like, I know some of the 
I've got a probably a handful of brokers that are so honest that it's, it's really disgusting. Like, and I've told guys, like brokers, I'm like, dude, you need to tighten up. Like, yeah, you can be honest, yeah, you can be real, but I know brokers that will take a loss just to move the car. Like, there's two style of brokers. And there's the one in the middle, and that's the one you really want to deal with and work with. But, unfortunately, they're few and far between, you know? So, guys, don't let the broker say, I'll get you on the next one. It's one of them things, tomorrow never comes. Because guess what's going to happen on that next one? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. I can't on this one. I'll get you. I promise you, I'll get you next one. Same thing, same thing. Dude, once they hang up from you, they don't remember you. They don't know these details. Half of them, if you hang up the phone and call them back, they can't tell you what they said unless they look at a computer screen. Like, I talked to that one broker three times today. Three times. And every time, she said, uh, we were talking, she's like, hold on, hold on, let me pull my screen up. And then when she pulled the screen up, then she would reference back to what we talked about. Like, this is all within an hour, like, going back and forth. It wasn't even a couple hours. Because they BS so much that they know I cannot open my mouth until I see what's in right. And I learned the hard way, but I know people that uh, record their phone calls. Quality assurance purposes, business purposes. You got to cover yourself. Every major company you call records the phone calls. I'm not saying record your voice, you know what I mean? Don't record your people, your people you work with or none of that, but if it's something like that, that's my suggestion. But, guys, they will play you. They will take advantage of you. But here, you know what your job is? Take advantage of them. Treat them the same way they're trying to treat you. Be a broker's worst enemy. What's the worst they're gonna tell you? No, not give you the load. They'll give you the load. And if they don't give you the load, go to the next one. You know, and I, I know BWT is really bad for this, and there's a lot of them that have been doing it lately. Uh, but their thing is, uh, they'll put it on the board, and then as soon as you call, they're like, well, can you take less? No, no, I'm not taking less. You know why they do that? Because they think you're desperate. And a lot of truckers are desperate. Because they don't understand. You will get a load. In car hauling, you will move a car. You will. I promise you, bro. You'll move a car. And you'll make money. And you'll get paid. Like, you don't need to take just any load. Like, I... I just wish that I could really get people to see my true process and how it really works with me. Like, I'm not going to say I'm ignorant and nasty with brokers because I do respect them as a human. As a human, I will respect you. But when we're talking business, I don't respect their business model. I just don't. Now, I, they can make money but I'm gonna get what I want to get. And now here's the flip side on my opinions. Let's say I want $1,000 for this load. That's what I want to move it. Now, should it matter if that broker's making $2,000? Should it really matter? Sorry, my anxiety's acting up. I don't think so. I don't think it should matter because I have a rate to do something. If it's a thousand dollars, that's what it is. But a lot of people seem to think that they deserve money that they don't even ask for. It. You know, why do you deserve it? You didn't even ask for it. You didn't even try. That broker did their
their job with the customer and bang down. He hit a home run. Now you need to bang out and hit a home run. Like if you're getting a dollar a mile and they got a dollar eighty mile, everybody wins, bro. But I know people are like, oh, they don't deserve it. But then why are you not on the other side with that phone call? Why are you not on J Tracker pulling in leads, cold calling, on Facebook, chasing people down looking for cars? Back in the phones, dealership, dealership, dealership. Why are you not doing that? Do you think these loans just come to a broker? I'm a broker. It don't happen that way. Like I am, and everybody's gonna say, oh, of course you are. I'm truly a different style of broker. I, and, mo and I will show them, I'll show you my, my agreement, but the way I do it is, you get CO, 90% of the times it's COD and then you pay me. It'd probably be a hundred bucks a load. But if people knew what we went through for just a hundred bucks a load, it's really not worth it, but it is worth it, you know? But guys, we, we've got to come together. We've got to rebuild this industry the right way. You need to be the backbone of trucking. You are not a steering wheel holder right here. You are a CEO. You are a business owner. You are the damn boss. You run this ship. Ship pop with a P. You run it. Don't let nobody else run it. Dispatchers are $10 an hour CEOs. Now, I'm trying to, I'm a, I am going to start helping a couple people dispatch, but my goal is to teach you not to be your long-term dispatch. But, it, it really, same thing. You'll pay me $10 an hour to be the CEO of your company, but it won't be $10 an hour. It'll break out. Like, that's usually how it breaks out with the loads. Let's say it's a $500 load, and the broker gets 10% of 50 bucks. You know what I mean? It may take them four or five hours looking for that full thing. So it usually breaks out to about that, you know? Uh, and I know you all see like, ah, you driving. Oh boy. Um, not safe, I'm sorry. But uh, I like to talk to my hands. So guys, we, you really got to, don't let these brokers run this sh shenanigans. You do you. Y'all know how to get this money. Don't be scared. Now, this is something totally different, and this is a disclaimer. I, I started up you know, on you on Facebook. I am now Hot Shot Date. Like I have a profile of Hot Shot Date. Well, I am getting bombarded, and I mean bombarded, with people asking questions of trucking, which as you guys know, I'm here to help. I enjoy helping, that's what I do. But I can't, I just don't have the time to answer every little question of like, where do I start? What do I do to get started? What do I need to get in this industry? Like I have probably 400 plus videos, guys. So, <coughs> if you, if you did that, like, send me a message. I'm sorry that I, I just haven't been able to respond. I think there's like 130 message requests right now. And I don't want to be that guy to delete them, so I haven't done anything with them yet. But that's why I did all these videos and still do all these videos. You know, I'm not making total piglet money on this stuff because I'm real. I'm not a comedy show. I'm real. You know, and his part is entertainment slash teaching some of the time. You know, that's what he does. But mine's not that. And I get, I, it gets boring, I guess. So, guys, if you sent me a message and I didn't get back to it, I apologize. But the videos are here. I, I do have the, um, the consultations. I cannot just give my number out to any anybody. You know, because I did that in the beginning, and 
mean, it was just crazy. Like, total nonsense. Crazy. So, <coughs> if you're that guy, and I didn't answer, I'm sorry, I apologize, but that's why. So, if you guys want to be strong, you want to learn to dispatch, I've done three videos now, including this one on dispatching as a broker. And I have the fundamentals of dispatching book that some reason isn't selling as well as the other one but I think it's because people believe you know they know everything one of these people wow um, like once people get in to trucking they no longer want to invest in trucking into the learning aspect of it and this goes back to what I've said before about people you know, you take your time, you creep up to the door, you get to the door, you do everything right. And then when you get to it, you want to kick in the door, wave in the fo fo. Yelling, Big Papa, don't hit me no more. No, you can't do that. You got to ease on in the door. You got to ease on in there. And learn, learn, learn. I still learn. But anyway, hope y'all learned from this. Hope it gave you a couple little pointers. Um, open your eyes and your antennas to the uh, the brokers. Remember, they're not your friend. They're just another business that you happen to work with. There's no loyalty, no obligation, no commitment. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.